My name is Juliette Krupe, and I teach Urban Farming and Living Environment CTT at Williamsburg Preparatory High School. I asked my students, how should we change the class? Students responded with, give examples to help me understand more, use more hand things, and take us outside like you did that one time earlier this year. I realized that students needed to be more hands-on with science and learn in an outdoor classroom. My problem of practice is, how might we get students to engage with science outside of the classroom? The solution is to let students use science as a tool for helping their communities. This involved four steps where students make an observation, do research, plan a solution, and take action. The democratic science teaching practice used was critical literacy, where students wrote and implemented community action plans based on scientific reasoning. First, we had students map the community in order to identify the main cause of carbon emissions. This mapping technique for identifying issues was developed by Roots and Shoots. After each student identified an issue, they were directed to form into teams to research and decide on one key issue to focus on for their project. For example, Cindy's team observed that there is too much carbon dioxide in the air because of the amount of cars that are being driven in the city. They cited evidence from primary sources and found that passenger cars account for 69% of CO2 emissions from transportation. When Cindy's team developed their community action plan, they accepted other group members who were equally as passionate about the issue of CO2 emission from cars. Other students from the class ended up breaking into groups whose issues included waste disposal, green space, and energy. The solution provided by Cindy's team was to create a poster that explains how cars hurt the environment and that public transportation or bicycles should be used more often. They mentioned that the challenge they might face would be that no one may look at the poster because many people may not care. They only want their cars. After the team submitted their final proposal, we graded them with a rubric based on the four C's of career and workforce readiness, collaboration, creative, critical thinking, creativity, and communication. The four C's is an assessment tool developed by Youth Service America. Sydney's team of four placed their posters on street lamps and in storefront windows. They stood beside their posters while they surveyed people around Queens and Brooklyn. They found that most people preferred driving cars to taking public transportation. Team member Kalud explained, I would be stopped and questioned on what this was all about. I would kindly answer their questions and give them more information. When people asked Cindy, why bikes? She replied that it's fun and healthy for the environment. It means less air pollution. When Cindy reflected on the experience, she wrote, My idea of choosing what type of car to buy or how I can travel from place to place has changed. I wondered why people don't think about the environment before deciding what car to purchase. Why do most humans choose to be lazy? In the future, I like to research what would motivate them to not use a car. I thought this project was fun and something new. In the past years of learning, I don't remember having to do anything like this, where I went and interacted with strangers to inform them about the harm cars do to the environment. I found that it was nice to do something new for a project, for a change. There were other creative projects as well. Students hosted a recycling day to clean up the neighborhood. They planted flowers around the school and wrote a letter to City Hall asking for more green space. One group of students created an energy campaign, while others created an advisory presentation and an animated message that were shared with peers. My tips for teachers are to have a soft deadline and a hard deadline for submitting final drafts. Make sure that each group chooses just one issue to focus on solving. To push my thinking, I wonder, how can I give students more time to further de develop their action plans without disrupting the flow of the curriculum? How could I incorporate the use of social media and blogging with the projects? I like to thank Syed Innovators, Roots and Shoots, Youth Service America, and the Jumpkey Basu Foundation for all of their help. Created using Powtoon.